we'll change text based on a variable value to finish up our prototype of a timer. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. All right, so we are going to add another text object and we can even add multiple into our vertical stack. We can have as many text objects as we want, like a title, Pomodoro, timer, we can have another text object that says by Mammoth Interactive, the creators, and that is our company. Then we can have here another text object. And this one will actually say, is it work time or break time? Okay, and it's going to show that using a condition. Okay, first let's just increase the text. It's a bit hard to see. So to increase the text size, you can use dot font a property dot font. We're using the system font. Let's set the size of the title to 80. There's even preset titles if you want to make your titles even smaller or larger. You can have things like large title as well. Preset sizes. You don't have to set your own sizes. Let's set by Mammoth Interactive as well. We'll use dot font dot system and then size 30. Just want to make sure it fits nicely. Okay. And remember, we are testing on the iPhone 13 Pro in this case. Then work time or break time, let's increase that font size. So we'll have dot system. Let's set the size to 50 and see how that fits. Okay. Then we can add some spacing in between all of our elements. So on the vertical stack itself, we could put spacing of 20. That will separate all of the elements on the page. And then we can even add padding to just one element itself, like just on the work time or break time, we could put padding to put that a little bit further away. And we could specify how much padding we wanted with a value if we wanted to increase the amount of padding around that text. Okay, and we can move this anywhere we wanted to. We could put it below our timer if we wanted to below the actual text of the timer. Just make sure you have all your curly brackets lined up properly. Okay, then use indentation as well. It can help you just to make sure that you have here all of your content filled in. This is on the on receive timer. Okay, great. So we've added some more text to the app. Now, how do we actually show work time or break time? Here we can use a variable called timer text to keep track of this. So instead of passing in work time or break time, we'll actually have a variable. So outside of the body, but in the struct, let's create a variable called timer text, which will return some string or text. We're going to return a value based on time to work. So just like we did for color, we'll return time to work if the variable value is true. Otherwise, we will return break time. Okay, so there we go put whatever text you want in here. This will return time to work if the variable value is true or break time if the variable value is false, the variable being time to work. Then if we want to actually see this, we have to use the variable inside of a piece of text. Like here, we can replace our literal string with the variable of, let's see, not time to work, but actually the text. So what we called the text object, which was timer text. So that is what we're going to show here. We'll show timer text and look at that. We can see we have time to work. It will also ask us for an argument name. So we have to pass that in if it asks for it. Okay, it doesn't ask for it anymore because we don't actually have any arguments. That was just a bit of a lag. Sometimes there's a lag with the warnings that the Xcode editor will throw you just by a few seconds. Okay, so there is the app now we can press play on the preview. Okay, and here we can see our work timer counting down. And then when we go to break, look at this, it changes its color and it changes the text to say break time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.